Alright, welcome back to episode 3 of Higurashi One Day Cry. And, yeah, nothing much to say like always. Let's just continue, okay? Let's just continue. Uh, load. Yes, load. Time for more reading and stuff, so I will right, we'll get started. Back in the story. This here is the Fruity Shrine. It's probably the place with the best view around this place. Be sure to remember it. On our next break, a festival will be a festival will be held here. Ah, uh, isn't it a bit too early in the season for a festival? The Watanagashi isn't a summer festival. Long ago, it used to be a celebration of the end of winter. I was embarrassed for assuming that festivals had to be held in the summer. I like her hat, her whole, her whole outfit and hat and everything so cute. Now then, spread out the lunch boxes and there. Various colored lunch boxes were placed one after the other on top of the plastic sheet. It sure did smell delicious. It was Rena's home cooking. It went without saying that it would be delicious. But is it even possible to finish all of this? Hey Mion, it takes more than just a good view to get all this down, you know. Good afternoon. It was Reina chan uh, Rika chan yeah, Rika chan and Satoko. Why are they here? Mion grinned over at me. I see this was her secret plan to power in numbers. You have my thanks, Mion. Following up on all the pieces are in place is my specialty. Wait, I think I read that wrong. Never mind. Sorry about that. We just had to come since there are such a commotion. What is the meaning of these? Take a look. It's time for lunch. Buffet style. A helmet. Um, gourmet meal by Rena. I can see that much. Why have you laid out a tarp on our property? The temple is public ground. It's not yours. Kechi is right. This is everyone's property. Wow, oh, Rika Chan is such a good girl. Have a seat. Eat with us. After opening up a spot for Rika Chan, I promptly turned my back on Saktiko. Hold on one second. Where is my spot? No spot for you and nothing for you to eat. Don't worry, there's some for you too. None, I'll eat all of hers. I will not allow that, Rika. Here, chopsticks. Both Satoko and I leapt at the boxes. Leapt at the boxes. Having it out with each other. Man, really catch you. You're really good at leading people on. You might have a talent for this. Am I recording? I need to check every freaking episode. Yeah, this is episode 3, so, um, yeah. You might have a talent for these leading people on. Have a play, one from me, Chan, and Rika Chan to you. Rena wiped, whipped, whipped out pairs of chopsticks and paper plates. If we don't hurry, it'll all be eaten up. That's right, okay? Shall we commence this battle? Please eat a lot. There's enough for everyone, superstar. Super shiny star. Rena said as she opened up a thermos. What the frick is a thermos? Thermos. I don't even know what that is. Just then I realized that this lunch was made under the assumption that five people would be eating. It didn't change how much there was, but the implication behind it was different. I will allow you to have this hamburger. Herc, using your elbow is against the rules, Satoko. Grabbing the back of my collar is also against the rules. It was a tough battle, blocking with all her full momentum and an elbow in the opening moves. 
Satoko appeared to have the upper hand, but the difference in our proficiency with chopsticks proved to be fatal and gave me the upper hand. Ah, the last meatball. Satoko Kyoji has been bested. No. Satoko and I immediately began choking at the same time, falling backwards and spasming. Mikachan patted me on the head to clear it, even though it was actually stuck in my throat. <laughs> oh, I'm choking from like my throat, but then she's patting my head. <laughs> That's kind of funny and cute. Seeing that Rena blush, that made Rena blush and breathe heavily in excitement. It was almost like flowers were floating all around her. Mion advised Rena to refrain from saying anything that could get her locked up. This is how our meals usually go. I do anything in my power just so things could stay like this. The intense battle calmed, and finally everyone reached a point where they could begin talking. Let me just check one more time. Six minutes, okay. Yeah, I guess so paranoid am I recording? Yeah. Wait, a T. Okay, yeah, I got T. I do wonder why there are so few words in Japanese to praise how good something tastes. Is it because the idea of togetherness during a meal didn't begin until the modern era? It seems that long, long ago people ate in si people ate in silence. It must have been made. It must have made the people preparing the food a bit sad, don't you think? It's probably because back then. The people were busy even while eating, and they didn't have the time to comp compliment the flavor. Oh my god, who cares? That's just you. But you know, just hearing that makes me, just hearing that it's good makes me happy. That my effort was worth it, I mean. She blushed, blushed a little as she said that. It was delicious. With absolutely perfect timing, Rika-chan struck Rena directly with praise. She looked straight at her with an expression of bewitching innocence. Oh. Uh. After Rena uttered an un unintelligible noise, a ring of sp smoke rose from her head with an audible poof. 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 How? Rika-chan. I'm gonna take you home. No, I mean thank you. It was really delicious. Rena flush, flushed red with excitement, embracing Rika-chan and rubbing her cheek against her so hard you could almost hear it. To reward Rika-chan for her praise, tada! These are special. Two apple rabbits after. Sticking two picks into them, she thrust them into Rikachan. After Rikachan accepted them, the mood suddenly shifted in a bizarre way. What is this, Satoko? What is with, what's with that defiant look? Has everyone prepared proper praise to receive apples from Renachan? Renasan? Don't push yourself. What kind of praise can you think of with your weak? Vocab. <laughs> well then, allow me to show you. After Satoko flashed me on and me a defiant look, in, she, she changed the tone of her voice suddenly. Um, hey, so Rena only chance lunch? Satoko thought it was yummy too. Satoko looked up at her pally while talking, talking cute, talking cute. See, how is that praise? That's not even persuasion by tears. That's persuasion by cuteness, isn't it? This is Rina limited special skill. She blushed and her head spun, spun, uh, waving around in circles. Don't fall for it, Rina. I'll have. Of course, that was asking for the impossible. Rena glumped. Start to go and began rubbing her cheek against her. Cute. Satoko is so cute. Take you home. Swish. 
stab, push. Santaco was also presented with apple rabbits. After stuffing them in her, into her mouth, she looked looked over at me on and me again with that defiant gaze. It only took five seconds to take down Reno. Um, that's unfair to think she had such a trick. If it upsets you, uh, uh, upsets you so much, why not reward Renaissance with some praise? Damn me. That was a dirty trick. First of all, that wasn't even praise. Satoko, you think you've won with that, don't you? How about I show you guys something much better than your superficial gimmicks? That sounds great, Mion. What kind of trick is it? Kei-chan is going to be the one who does it. What? Ho 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 Why don't... Ho ho ho, why don't I have you show me that? The rhythm of an old maid. Yeah. The plan of attack she suggested was wicked, but it was the only thing we had to beat Satoko. As I was receiving my tea, I, was, I started talking very naturally and calmly, perfect, perfectly. That really is good, isn't it? This is all freshly made, right? Ah, no. Actually, most of it, almost all of it, was frozen stuff. Then which ones did you make fresh? Uh, um, well, it's embarrassing. Do I really have to say? Must I? From the synergy of boy plus handmade lunchbox, her expression had melted into euphoria. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Fuck. What does that mean? I already know this one, right? Uh, uh, uh. Rina turning even deeper shade of red. The words, I can't believe it, practically written on her face. How can, face, how, how can you tell how that, that I made it? Of course, Miona told me beforehand, it's been perfect so far. After acting like I was shy, I, w I waited a beat. Next would be the fight finisher. It had your smell. Silence enveloped the area. Rena, face still completely red, froze solid with a small yelp. Satoko also blushed. Of course I did too. I sure would like to try one of Rena's handmade apple rabbits or something. Even if this was all because I was competing against Satoko, I felt like I had I had crossed the line by a, a good nine yards, I think. Then at that moment, boosh. It was a tum tumperware container filled with rabbits. Please eat some ketchikun. There's plenty for you. Instantly, dozens of rabbits were shoved into my mouth, knocking me over. Okay, say ah ketchikun. Tihi. My head was forcibly laid upon her lap, and even more apples were shoved into my mouth while she was squealing. One apple after another was forced into my mouth. More and more apples. How about them apples, Sat? What? How about them apples, Satoko? Looks like we win. Yeah. Kid Chan, that was a beautiful sacrifice. How's that, Satoko? This is our complete victory, isn't it? I can't believe it's such trickery. It doesn't bother me at all. Satoko grinded her teeth. I'm mortified. We did it. Oh wait, shit, shit, what'd I do, what'd I do? I claim- Ah, fuck! Don't scroll the mouse button, you dumbass! Ah! At that time, Rena stopped her squealing as she suddenly realized something. Rika-chan, you're not eating it? Did the salt water- Oh! <clears throat> oh, fuck. Did the salt water make it too strong, maybe, maybe? Oh, look at me. Hold on, hold on, give, give me a second. Looking over Rika-chan, I pulled the toothpick out of the rabbit, the apple, apple rabbit, placed it into her cupped hands, and seemed to be at a loss for what to do. Poor Mr. Rabbit, I feel sorry for him. I want to save him. He... 
That was the sign of sound of blood spurting from Rena's nose. Cute. Tonight I will take you home. She took. She shook. Sport. Did what? Sporadically. I've never heard that word. Be I've never seen that word before. Her head wobbling back and forth, then coming back to her senses, she took all the apples around me, gathered them up with a flip, 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 <laughs> okay, and fixed them back up on a plate. Now they're all just fine, okay, here, I'll give them to you, Rika-chan, okay, okay, Rika-chan raised up Sautico's head like a referee after, and that plate of apples shoved to her, she whispered, this is our victory. What? What? A comeback? I just don't care anymore. Thus, my sacrifice ended up being in vain. Competing over apple rabbits, the the thing shaped like rabbits, the apple, the the, the apple stuff, the apple rabbit, apple fucking rabbit, apple motherfucking rabbits. It was a fun-filled, crazy day, but as soon as the sun began to set, the end of the day really did come quickly. Later, Rena and Kechan. See you tomorrow. Thanks for today, Miana. I had a great time. See you tomorrow. Satoko and Rika-chan went home as well. We parted ways with Miana and ended up with just me, Rena, and myself enjoying the evening air on our way home. Thanks for coming today, Kichi Kun. Was it fun? Ye. Yeah. Lots of fun. Almost feels like a waste to go home now. Ah, oh, Dan Noel, would you mind taking a little detour, maybe, maybe? A detour? Is it far? It's a bit of a walk, but it won't take long. Since we had been walking around all day, I must have seemed a little tired. Not feeling like teasing Re not feeling like teasing Rena. Rena, Rena, I don't freaking know. Uh, I quietly nodded. <sighs> Traversing a small path and up the, a small hill, the land suddenly stretched out before us. There will look like the remains of the Dilapidated, dilapidated, de dilap. Yeah, the construction site came into view. These words, man. A large heap of garbage spread out off towards a swamp. Look, it's you. It's you. That that's you right there. That's you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Probably illegal dumping. I recalled it being in the newspaper. Paper. Oof, oof, oof. It's been quite a while. I wonder what's here. I wonder what's here. When you say it's been a while, you mean the business you had here was with this garbage pile? It's not garbage. To me, it's a pile of tre. It's a pile of treasure. Rena had begun entering that well-known cute mode on hers, of hers, so that meant there was something cute here. Whoa, a new pile. I can't wait. I can't wait. She bound up the unstable slope. I expect no less from a born and bred country girl. Hey, wait, I'm coming. Ooh, my city ray self was completely pitiful. It's alright. Just stay right here. Catch you, Kun. It won't take long. Rena kindly declined my accomplishment accompanionish ah fuck accompanionment don't fall watch your step I'm fine I'm fine this is nothing at all uh so tired literally bounding up the heap of trash Rena disappeared over the other side I didn't like being left behind but I was still pretty tired from the whole day so I just ended up waiting. 
Without the lively arena around, the surrounding area quickly fell into silence. The cry of the Higurashi, you know, cigarette, I mean, uh, cicadas, Higurashi cicadas, gently cooled the air. Fairly exhausted, I began to feel a little sleepy. Just then, the sudden noise of scattering pebbles alerted me to somebody's presence. Startled, I turned around. Standing there was a typical looking photographer. She spied over he spied over at me through his camera. His body was tanned and fit, but something about him seemed unreliable and he had a bit of an aloof air about him. Well it didn't seem like he was a bad guy in any case. Well, you surprised me. Although startled when I turned around, he overplayed his reaction. That was my line. I'm the one who's surprised here. My bad, my bad. Okay, I'm, um, oh, hold on. I didn't mean to startle. My bad, my bad. I didn't mean to startle you. Are you from Hinazawa? <clears throat> okay, um, I'm gonna end it here. I know this episode is more short. Sorry about that. I'll try next time to have a longer episode. Uh, but yeah, this episode is gonna be shorter than the other ones. Sorry about that. Alright, bye guys.